Hello. It's that time once again. It's about 7.15 and I'm going to head out for my long run today. It's Saturday. Um, it also happens to be the cleanup day for the neighborhood. I'm not uh, sure why I don't see anybody out here yet, but over by the airport I'm sure we're going to see garbage trucks and that sort of thing getting set up. Oh, there goes somebody but right now with a big truckload of garbage. So there's going to be a lot more cars on the road today than normal. Um, Okay, real quick, today is going to be an 18 miler, and that's the plan. I don't see why I'm going to deviate from that plan. I'm going to run a little slower than I have been, because this will be the longest long run I've ever done. Uh, the longest one prior to this has been 14 miles, um, and last week I only did 12. So, anyway, we'll see how it goes. You're right, I'm not running. I had a good reason for it, though. Uh, I had to go to the bathroom really, really bad. McDonald's. Woo! Alright, see? I'm running. I'm in motion. Yeah, right. Anyway, we're heading up the 5th Street Bridge now, and I turned the camera the opposite direction in the hopes that uh, the sound from the cars won't be too bad. So, you know, I actually feel pretty good, but I'm running a lot slower than I had been. I'm averaging maybe a 10-minute mile. Garmin says, 1027, but as I said, I stopped for a bathroom break, and uh, yeah, trying to get it done. All right, well, we're close to six miles in, and I'm on the bike path now, see, which means I'm in Yuba City, and uh, I just have to say that running slower for today's long run, it's doing me a world of good. I don't feel nearly as tired as I normally do at this point. I'm actually pretty fresh. So, and I'm sure the potty break didn't hurt any. I just passed the jogger back there. He was doing about the same pace as me. And uh, I guess they call this LSD, right? Long, slow distance. Just had a, had a gel a few minutes ago. So, anyway, I'm cranking. It is spring though. All those trees in blossom, making my allergies flare, making my nose run when I run, nose run when I run. Anyway, we're almost at the end of the bike trail here, and uh, when we come off, that's normally when I would turn left and then head back around, uh, back where I came from. But since I'm extending the route today, when I get to the end of the bridge, I'm gonna turn right on the highway. And there's actually a huge dirt area, so it is pretty safe to run on. And then I'm gonna be turning onto Pease Road. And that's the road that I lived on for about five years from the time I was about two years old until I was seven and we moved. And uh, once we get over there, I'll tell you a little story. Anyway, I mentioned a story. Back, I was probably five years old. My mother had this brilliant idea. Since she couldn't drive, she would walk to Sears. Sears is back that direction. And uh, so she didn't estimate what the mileage was very good, I think, because it's, I've measured it off since then. It's about four or five miles, something like that. So anyway, she had this brilliant idea. She was gonna take the kids and walk to Sears. So uh, she pulls me out at five years old and my sister out, who is about three years old at the time, and off we went. And we started walking. And somewhere around this little area, I forget exactly where. Of course, I was only five, right? But anyway, I found a spray nozzle for a garden hose. And uh, I picked it up. Mom, Mom, look at this, look at this. It's a sprinkler. And uh, she's like, oh, wow, let's take it home. Dad will love it. And uh, <laughs> we took it home, and my dad did love it. Uh, I'm not sure now. If it was just because I was five and I was giving him a gift, or if it was just he was honestly happy about it. But I'll tell you what, he, uh, he sat and used that sprayer for probably the next five years or so. Anyway, that's my little story. And uh, speaking of my dad, um, he's one of the reasons I'm doing this whole thing. You know, he, uh, he passed away 1989 and one of his favorite places to go in the whole world was the Avenue of the Giants up in the Redwoods. And uh, a few times that I was there recently, 
you know, I'd see pictures of the marathon here and there for the app. I thought, wow, that's interesting. That'd be kind of a new thing to do. And then when I was investigating possible marathons to do, I thought it might be a good idea. I looked up the website and found out the app is being run on my dad's birthday. So this is all for him. Well, not all. It's for me too and my family to go camping and all that good stuff. But I thought it was a noble thing to do. Now we're on Pease Road. And uh, if you take a look over here at this little park, it's not even a park, just a vacant lot. That was where, when we were kids, uh, we wanted to fly a kite. So my mom bought some old butcher paper and some dowel and some string. And we did it the old fashioned way. We made a kite. We flew it up here. Now this, uh, this mobile home park was a lot smaller. It was about half the size it is now. But yep, that's what we did. And once again, we walked down here from our house, which was over there. Now, the house is long gone. It, uh, when the housing boom hit, they decided that the land was, was far better than uh, previously anticipated. It used to all be uh, pea torches out here, and our house was in the middle of an orchard. Well, they tore that, that whole uh, house, and there was an apartment complex, not a complex, a two-unit apartment house in the back in the house next door where the landlord lived they tore all that down and uh, now it's these i want to say pretty houses like the tract houses you know welcome to the future right so this is Pease road and i've got some water cash over the freeway over there so so this is the park i was talking about before it's a new park i just dropped my house key how rude hey look how fast i'm going Woo! All right, in case nobody believes me, <laughs> here we are at the corner of Stabler and Butte House Road. And uh, 7 Eleven over there, it's time for me to start running. Yep. That's right, right there. 11 and a half miles in, six and a half miles to go. But uh, I'm not going to stop. I thought about stopping at my mom's house and say hi, but I can always drive there later. And, uh, you know. Seems like it's taken me forever. I think what it is is I know physically where I'm at and I know physically how far I have to go and my brain is playing tricks on me, you know, knowing that I still have another six miles to go, but eh, I feel pretty good. Uh, thought I'd tweet for a second. Let's see if it actually works. No, I'm not gonna be able to see it. That's all right. Well, a little bit of a mind stone, which I expected to reach, but uh, as of right now, every mile that I run is the furthest that I've ever run. We're 14 and a quarter miles, and uh, I'm pretty sore, actually, but I'm doing okay. I'm making it, I'm getting it done, and uh, lucky for me, next Saturday is only 10, and the Saturday after that is going to be 20, so anyway. Check it back in. Tell me how this happens. I cash water ahead of time, and I finish the first bottle in exactly halfway. Grab my second bottle, and here I am. I've got two and a quarter miles left, and I am stinking out of water. And I didn't uh, think that I'd do this, so I didn't bring a couple bucks. I don't have the money to buy water, so I'm going the next couple miles without my water. <laughs> my, my pace, my average pace right now is like uh, 11.30 a mile. Okay, I'm back at my house and come to find out the route that I took, which was actually different than what I mapped out on Google Maps just because it seemed to be more scenic or whatever. It was 18 and a half miles, but uh, those last few miles just totally were difficult and... <laughs> I'm knocked out at this point, basically. But, hey, my heart rate was low the whole time, right? And, uh, you know, it's not the real thing, so I think I'm okay. But, you know, like I said, 10 miler next week, 20 miler the week after that, and hopefully on the 20, I can be a little faster. And here comes Gregory. What you doing, Gregory? 